So before we jump over to the three principles of learning a foreign language quickly, it's important to, you know, to have the right mindset because you need to believe that you're able to learn new skills. You know, there is some people with the so-called fixed mindset and they believe that they were born in a certain way, that they were born with certain skills and they're not able to learn new things. Now, then there is also people with the so-called growth mindset and these are the people who, you know, who have ambitions, who are willing to learn things and really, really want to improve themselves. So, if you don't have that growth mindset, then these videos are actually not going to help you much. So you really need to have that belief that you can learn anything because you can. Our brain is a muscle and it's really like going to the gym. If you go to the gym every day, if you eat well, those muscles are going to grow. And it's the same with your brain. You have to, you know, you have to work out your brain, um, but eventually um, the more you work out, the more consistently you go to your language gym or whatever that is, um, eventually you're going to be able to speak a foreign language, okay? Now, maybe you might think, okay, but I've learned the language for so long, but I actually can't speak it. Now, then I have a question for you, and that question is, for how many hours have you actually practiced? So I'm not talking about, you know, not asking how many hours you've studied. No, I'm talking about practice speaking practice and maybe not you can also be writing you know how, how many hours have you practiced your output which can either be speaking or writing right and you know most of the time when we answer this question people say oh um, yeah but I, I I don't know enough words to start practicing my speaking and that's actually you know that's not true in order to if you really want to start speaking a foreign language start practicing it with for example an online tutor or tutor in person or a friend at a language exchange you only need a few hundred words okay but more about that later in this video we're first going to talk about the three stages of learning foreign language and actually this doesn't only apply to language learning but i um, thought that it would be interesting to share these um these three stages with you. So the first stage is called the cognitive stage. And then at this stage, you're you know, exploring how the language works. You're decoding the language. You're finding out about the word order. You're also learning your first words. And you know, typically, you have the feeling that you're learning, that you're making progress quickly at this stage because you go from not knowing anything about the language to um, you know, having a basic understanding of how the language works, what the sounds are. Okay, then the second stage is called the associative stage. Now, in this, at this stage, we're really activating what we have learned. And unfortunately, this is one of the stages that people try to skip. But, you know, in language learning, it's impossible to skip any of these stages. So here, you really go from just learning to using. You really start producing the language. Um, so at this stage, it is very important because if you don't practice what you have learned, you know, it never, that skill be, never becomes part of yourself. In order to become good at something, you need to, you really need to practice this a lot. And um, at this stage, you also find out where the holes are in your, in your grammar or in your vocabulary. So you learn based on feedback with, for example, a native speaker. Um, who corrects you and this is really a crucial stage in language learning with mo which most people forget. Now and then we have the third stage and it's called the autonomous stage and you know here you're really past the uh, frustration barrier as we discussed uh, that we discussed in our first video and you know at this stage you can already use the language you can hold conversations you can use it in your daily life you can read text you can read books and um, you know once you get once you get to this stage you can actually you know you don't have to force yourself to, to, to study anymore you can just improve expand your vocabulary perfect your grammar by just getting more inputs and um, more output, more output as well. More at this stage, you really get better by using the language. Hmm. In the next video, we're going to talk about the most important ingredient that you need if you really want to become successful at learning any foreign language. Um, make sure to subscribe so that we can see you in the next video. Bye bye.